If you want to kill a relationship, if you want a surefire way to kill a relationship, whether it's in your marriage, with family members, relatives, whatever, do this one thing. Practice unforgiveness. Guaranteed, I've seen it happen over and over again, it'll annihilate the relationship. And the mind-boggling thing here, and obviously I don't want you to practice unforgiveness, the mind-boggling thing here is that as a believer, we should be very uh, well-read on the many, many times the New Testament, especially, that God commands us to forgive. He says this over and over and over again, and so we're clearly out of bounds with God when we insist on holding resentment and not forgiving this person for the horrible thing that they've done especially if that person has repented, which is a fancy way of saying that they've apologized and are no longer doing that thing or working hard not to do that particular sin anymore, we are commanded to forgive. We want God to forgive us, but oh no, we don't need to forgive that other person because their sin is just too stinky. No, it doesn't quite work like that. In fact, listen to some of these verses from the New Testament. Matthew 6, starting in verse 14. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But... If you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive you. Ooh, jump back. That's a little challenging, isn't it? How about Ephesians 4.32? Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. And Matthew 18, starting verse 21, Peter says to God, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. That's a whole lot of forgiveness. So maybe it's time for a heart check. For all of us, am I harboring unforgiveness and re toxic resentment? Am I aligning with the devil's scheme to destroy marriages and relationships because I'm harboring unforgiveness? Something for us to chew on with the help of the Holy Spirit.